Hello everyone, Wumpus Gaming here, back today with more Old World, continuing our Babylonia game, where we started off as Agadi uh, Gupa the, uh, the Wise, and we are now playing as Nabonidius the New, though he's rather old, and I don't think he's going to last long, I think he's, his heir is going to inherit soon, um, he's already 64. Last episode, we began building our navy to, con to uh, fulfill the ambition to control five naval units. Um, in this episode, we are going to continue that ambition as well as look to secure our borders. We have some barbarian units that have unfortunately proven a thorn in our side for most of the last episode and most of the previous episode. I'm hoping to finally put those barbarians to an end, but I'm not 100% hopeful. Like, building up the naval... The, the Navy is nice, but we also need to build up the land forces for protecting against raids. <clears throat> oh, well, there goes King Nabonidius. He lasted, like, not even an episode. Uh, the Oracle has been completed by Greece. And Duke Ludipri, our nephew, has gained plus one charisma. So let's take a look at our new leader. Long live Queen Nisunu the New. Let's see... What do we want to send the Amorites to please them? Let's send iron. Oh, we can't do that. So let's send gold then. Corruption is bad. Yes, minus one charisma for righteousness. That's uh, an acceptable trade. 80 civics or plus one wisdom? Let's give him plus one wisdom. Arlegark Sheraton, the merchant, meets with you to discuss court matters. As she has recently taken up the mantle family head of the Isons in the wake of Ishtar Gamelet the Younger's death. Okay. Uh, we can influence her. We can begin conspiring with her. Or we could lose money and in intercede and gain more favor with her. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is because we're charming, so I'm going to go with that. Influence. I am a simple servant of God. Okay, so this is everyone reacting to various people's deaths, including the king. It seems like we had several heads of family die at the same time. Um, Because we're devout, we're going to start conspiracy. I don't know what conspiracy with someone does. Oh wow, she's a really good governor though, look at that. Babylon is in great hands uh, under her care. <clears throat> We're circumnavigating this island. Ibisus, Ibisus Island, I guess is what it's called. Yeah, we got raiders coming over here too. Okay, so we're going to leave a warrior and a slinger at Opus. A warrior and a slinger at Babylon. We really do need to build up our land forces. Because, like, Marad right now is just guarded by three militia and a slinger, which is honestly not much. Yeah, uh, militia's already waking up to the enemy nearby. Cool. More raids. Oh, Duke Lutepri is now vigilant. Second in line. Uh, no. No, we will find our own path. I don't think we can make peace with three tribes or nations, and I don't want... I mean, she might make an okay general. Uh, let me look. No, she has no bonuses to combat. Uh, I will find my own path. We'll just take the XP bonus. Oh, no one's built the ziggurat or the hanging gardens yet, and we have enough material to do so. so I'm going to get the hanging gardens started. That extra growth boost from the gardens is rather nice. I haven't even figured out where I'm putting my Odians or stuff for this main city yet, to be honest. That might be a bit of a problem. There's like no... There's a river, but it's got resources along it. 
could put a Hamlet here and put the an Odeon here and here. And then, well, we've got the Hamlet here. So Odeon, Odeon, Odeon. Bath, I guess, is what I was thinking. Wow, she only makes 11 orders per year. That is not good. I'm going to have to be very careful with what we do. And how we do it. Ah, more raids. Get Phalanx. No, uh, it is enough to simply observe. I don't want to change her class away from Schemer. We'll, uh... Or away from Diplomat, I mean. It is enough to simply observe. We have leveled up. Um... Let's go with more cash flow. Uh, why did this glitch? Did, 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 did? Oh, it's because of that. Okay. It's overlapping. I was like, what? 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 <laughs> yeah, let's get the Odeon going. Getting some culture going would be uh, especially handy. Um, then, yeah, we can put a barracks up on this hill, sure. And we could put, like, the garrison somewhere nearby. <clears throat> this lumber mill going. Yeah, we are barely producing any wood. Okay, except for I think we had military actions to take. Ow. I'm gonna buy that many. Hey, more barbarians. Hati has begun construction of the ziggurat. I'm always going to choose the same option for this event, uh, where one of our kids becomes a dog owner. I am never, never going to tell someone to beat and torment a dog. And neither am I going to tell them to use a strict system of rewards and punishments. I'd much rather you treat the dog with gentleness and compassion every, every time. I am choosing this choice for this event every single time out of personal conviction. I love dogs. I love animals. Be compassionate towards them. Poet or magic practitioner? Sure. Either one of those is fine. Oh, right, I need to spend orders to kill barbarians. Okay, there we go. We solved that problem. Now we gotta solve this problem. There we go. Cool. Yeah, just stay there. Just stay there. Hey, new boat. Alright, production in Babylon. Let's see what we got. We got this big old mine here. That'll be nice to work. We've got a farm. We'll grab that. Got this gold mine. We haven't worked yet. Drive this nine and a half iron. Oh, wow. We still have workers available. Okay, let's grab this nine wood. There's ten and a half iron. This ten and a half iron. Okay, that's everybody. Let it just fill out its citizen slots. We should see our economy vastly improve because of that. I didn't realize we had so many free citizens open in Babylon. Matriarch. Okay, we need to convert to Babylonian paganism to make our families happy. Ooh. Uh, minus one discipline. I don't want to take that. But we'll take the plus 20 ha unhappiness to all cities for the free law monetary reform. I'd like this because if we look at monetary reform, it's end game. It's really late in the tech tree. Uh, no unhappiness from hurrying orders, uh, uh, hurrying stuff in cities, and all cities get two happiness per year. It's really, really powerful, and it's a great late game. Uh, law that we just got way early. 
super early. Like, I will take the unhappiness for getting that law early. It's one of my favorites. <clears throat> oh, we're out of orders. Oh, God. Do I have the discipline? Not really. Let's, let's just... Mm. Like I said, we need stronger troops around Maraud. Just having militia is just not doing it. Okay, so the Vandals want 270 gold or they'll declare war on us. We'll give them the 270. I don't really like Zealot or Schemer, to be honest. I prefer avoiding both of them. Hmm. So that would make them a general if we went with Zealot. Alright, we'll go with Zealot. Okay, there's another Barbarian cleared. And these raids around Marad are uh, really annoying, to say the least. We'll have to get some better infantry. Sure, we'll put an Odie in here. More culture. Yeah, we'll put the uh, Nodian down here. Sure, there you go. More culture, more culture. Okay, so we've scattered out the perimeter of this Vandal-held island. Let's return to Marad for coastal patrol duties. Ah, another tribal raid near Opus. These are getting very annoying. This will allow me to convert to state religion. Let's grab metaphysics. Uh, the Altani have heard of a writer who uses an advanced system of poetic meters to make the history of Babylonia easier to memorize. This even includes a long list of Babylonian pagan gods, although the writer is known to hold them in ill regard. The tutors think this framework could help the Altani's counting and memory, but are worried about the idea that this rationalistic teacher may impart. Hmm. Intelligent, poetus, and pious. We'll take the chance on becoming impious. Did they become impious? No, they became pious. Very, very good. So, schemer or orator. I guess we'll go with orator. Because we've already... Yeah. Ooh, we could make Opus a merchant town. and would make 50% more money. Um... Yes. We will make Opus a merchant town. Nothing out that way. That's what I thought. Ooh, we can get a governor in here. Castilla the Younger looks really good. So does Araba the Merchant. I'm going to go with Araba the Merchant. Can we have a governor here? Nope. Ah, we can have a governor here as well. Duke Ludapri looks really nice. So does Princess Iltana. I think we'll go with Ludapri for a little bit of science and money. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh, more raiders from the Numidians. Duchess Kashaya has lost courage. That is unfortunate. Okay. Princess Altani has become impious. That is unfortunate. Yes, we will convert to Babylonian paganism. Build the mausoleum, the Acropolis, or enact professional army. Let's go with enact professional army. I have a higher chance of doing that than building a wonder, to be honest. Think, 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 think. We could put this shrine down and then put the Odians around it, sure. 
I have this guy come up here to intercept any of their transports that think they can make their way through. Choose production opus. Uh, cattle. 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 Just get all six of those cattle going. The city will grow much faster. Another boat. Choose production and maraud. Let's grab the farm. Oh, that's not the best farm. We have a six and a half farm. We'll go with that first. That'll hopefully get the growth going here a little bit more. The city is not growing all that well. Ouch, my slinger. Uh, Princess Eltani has a naturalist. Matriarch Belisano of Murad is severely ill, and Nebuchadnezzar the scientist has died. Okay. We have completed the legitimacy of controlling five boats. We now control five boats. Boats, boats, boats. Do you like boats? I, I, I will say, as much as it sounds like I like boats, I've only ever been on one cruise ship and a small, like, sailing boat. Then I've been to a few museum ships, like the USS Alabama, the, uh, the Barb, which is a submarine, and the, um, and I, I've seen a few ships up in Philly dockyards. They've got a really nice naval museum there in Philadelphia. Um, yeah. Have you guys, are, are any of you guys into boats or naval museums or anything of that sort? Because, like, I don't know, that's just kind of a me thing. I live, I live about eight hours, I would say, from the coast. I would say about eight hours from the coastline. Maybe more. Boat. Oh, that's, that's... Just, mm, more orders. We have barbarians to kill, folks. Okay, that one's almost dead. Cool. Oh, gosh. We're only making 12 orders a, a year at this point. That's pretty bad. Ooh, I missed the Foria, though. Plus 20% civics and culture, but 20% more upkeep. Hmm. I think we'll establish the Mist of Foria. We have 540 gold. Gain two scouts. Lose pious. Gain two legitimacy. And 40 science. Or we gain the free law exploration and two scouts. Free law exploration and two scouts. Yeah. We are now known as the warrior for the number of enemies we have killed. Cool. Yeah, we need to get more troops going so we can uh, kill barbarians, uh, settle new cities, and maybe kill off the Numidians since they keep raiding us. Okay, Marad's defenses are almost back to full health. Ooh. No, not my slinger. Gosh darn it. Uh, another tribal raid towards Marad. That's just getting annoying. Save the gold. Hmm. We'll save the gold for later. Why not? You met somebody on your travels and you wish to marry them. You're bisexual. He's gay. Look, I have nothing against gay people, but neither one of you are going to have kids. And he's got minus two charisma and minus one courage. And he's bitter. No, he's a schemer. He looks like an absolute asshole. Just nothing against him or anything. Just... Ugh, bad stats. Refuse. Ooh, we can build the Ishtar Gate. Why not? 100 culture in all cities. Yeah, let's go. We'll build the Ishtar Gate.
Okay, so we have two wonders we're working on now. We have the Hanging Gardens and the Ishtar Gate. Yeah, we should probably build up... We should probably build up a military force, take this island, settle it. Uh, take this encampment, settle it, and take these two encampments and settle them. Like, yeah. Yeah. Throw in a spearman at the end of that queue. We have another farmer we can grab, so let's do that. Yeah, growth is at 19.2. Heal that militia. Okay, these scouts are kind of useless because I don't have any orders for them, but, uh, yeah. Hmm, Nebopolasar the Zealot has become deceitful. Uh, yes, divine rules so we can adopt paganism. That sounds great. Yeah, we'll go ahead and build this mine. Why not? More iron. More ore. Yeah, the Greeks are all the way over there on their own island. I'm not too worried about them. Do, 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 do. Oh, the Vandals have taken over this encampment. I didn't know they could do that. The Vandals have taken a barbarian encampment. After all my hours playing this game, that is the first time I think I've seen that. And there you go, guys. The Hanging Gardens. We're 20 minutes in, and we have gotten the Hanging Gardens completed. Well, yeah, why not? One per adjacent, uh, one order per adjacent wonder. We'll put the Shrine of Marduk there. I don't know if we'll actually surround it with um, wonders, but at least we'll have it. Um, yeah, go see what's on that island. Nothing, that's that's what I thought. Sail over this way, keep intercepting these boats as they try to travel into the shore. And you just kinda Uh, that's right, the treasury for Babylon gives culture. So I need to start building treasuries in all my cities to get more culture going. No, not my worker. Ziggurat completed by Hati. Um, but, 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 again. You just like the gay boys, don't you, little Donnie? You just like the gay little boys, don't you? One, two, three. You know what? Yeah, you can marry this one. There you go. Marry that gay little femboy. Why not? I I ain't mad about it. Shrine of his char. Uh, I am ever so tempted. I know we don't have enough troops. But we can get spears now, which is really nice. Um, Is that literally the only warriors I have? Those two and a bunch of militia. No, I have another warrior over here. Ha ha. Where's the edge of the map? Where's the edge of the map? Oh, I forgot I still have combat stuff to do with like boats. Okay, there we go. We managed to sink one of them. Um, yeah, I don't have enough orders to move another boat south. <clears throat> no! Ow! That's just unfortunate. Judaism founded in Kish. Uh, that's a Babylonian city. Well, we're the Babylonians. Do we become Jewish? I at least want to ask for a copy of their laws, I think. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's make... Let's invite their leaders to court. 
But we're gonna go, not right now. We're gonna let it spread, but we're not gonna adopt it. Yeah, we are not making nearly enough wood per turn. Okay, now with two spearmen and a slinger, eh, maybe we can take him on. Yeah, you guys are just waiting for them to land. Um, spears. The Tyrrhenian Sea. Ooh. Okay. Choose production in Marad. Uh, we need some professional troops here, so let's train a spear. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish this turn, and then I'm going to call it the end of the episode. Just so you're all aware, I'm going to try really hard not to hit next turn. Uh... Watch me fail. Stab. Stab. Slinger. Boat. Oh. Boat. There we go. Another group of barbarians cleared. And on that note, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out and watching. We've done a good job of pushing back against barbarian raids at Kish, Opus, and Marad today. And next episode, we're going to continue the military buildup at Kish and at Marad. And probably, maybe even at Opus and Babylon. And once we've completed a pretty sizable military buildup, I want to have two spears, two spears, two spears and two spears at each city. We're then going to probably focus first on clearing the Numidians because they have less encampments that we know of. Uh, and then after that's accomplished, we're going to clear the Vandals from this island and this island. I think that's going to be the next two episodes worth of goals. If you would like to see us slowly work our way through those militaristic goals of clearing out the Vandals and the Numidians, Ring the notification button down below to see when new episodes come out. And if you're uh, new here and would like to hit the subscribe button while you're down there, that would be fantastic and much appreciated. Uh, beyond that, just hit a like, and I will see all of you guys for the next episode. Thank you for coming out and tuning in. This is Wumpus Gaming, Gaming signing off. Bye-bye, everyone. Uh, I stutter too much.